This is the Schmo with the pro, with the legend, the UFC Hall of Famer, making his name in the UFC light heavyweight division, Stefan Bonner here at Yas Island, UFC 253. How we doing? Eh, not bad. Not bad, Schmo. Good to... Good to be here chatting with you. Yeah, two Chicago guys represented that three-one-two. Yeah, I'm seven-seven-three myself, but you know it's same same as they say in Thailand, right? Yeah. Well, truth be told, the schmo's eight-four-seven, but three-one-two is the biggest area code. That's why yeah. we chose it. Cool. Yeah. Now talk to me for a second. You're cornering Diego Sanchez, obviously the ultimate fighter. You guys have history together. What was that conversation like in the mountains? That euphoric moment when you realize. I'm going to be here and help this guy. Yeah, it was a trip in the mountains because on the show when he told me about the UFOs, I thought he was nuts. But, like, you're out there on the other side of the mountain in the city where there's no lights. It's just darkness, and you're right under those stars, and there are bright lights moving really fast. Regardless of being under the influence of psychedelics, it is far out. Yeah, it's 2020. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And uh, the UFOs, it's a real thing. You know, the Pentagon declassified that information. That's right. We got to deal with the underworld. We do. There's an underworld and a outer world. So, yeah, yeah Diego isn't it just nuts. There's more to it. Yeah, like, Diego's got four fights left, and then he's going to hang it up, man. We don't know if you're going to be cornering him moving forward. We're going to take it case-by-case case basis. But what have you seen out of Diego that makes you so confident that he's going to beat a young lion like Jake Matthews here Saturday evening? Well, I mean, he shines on that world stage. He does. Look at all the great fights he has. And stylistically, I think he matches up really well. He handled that killer last time pretty good. And uh, I think this guy is, I mean, he's tough. He's strong. He's gritty. But, and he's good. He's 4-1 and one at the welterweight in this division. But I don't think he's as dangerous as that last guy. And if Diego could av avoid the power shots of Jake like he did Pereira, I think he's going to win this fight. Well said. Now, one of your former opponents, John Jones, universally looked at as the GOAT. He's vacated the light heavyweight bout. What's your thoughts on vacating for that thing? And uh, he's going up to heavyweight, you think, yeah? Yeah, he wants a big money fight with Brock Lesnar, you know? Like, I don't blame him. He, You know, it's hard to get up for, you know, some of these guys that, like, the pe people don't know. And then they fight you really tough. They have the fight of your lives, and you're not up for them. And you, people kind of crap on you. Yeah, you won, but you look bad. So he wants a fight he could get up for against a huge marquee name and also get a kind of payday that he's not going to get from the, the smaller names. So I don't blame him. Yeah, and I know you're a big wrestling fan. What do you make of all these characters now in uh, the UFC making names for themselves? You know, doing the antics, the Colby Covingtons. I know Henry Cejudo was all about it. You know, making a name for themselves outside of the octagon. Well, there's a reason. I mean, look at the, the pro wrestling. It's uh, uh, the matches are all worked. It's it's all a stage show and theatrics, and it sells. You know, I mean, look at the you know millions of dollars that that go through that industry every year, if not more. So it works. It works. It gets people involved. It sells the storylines. And uh, as much as Dana like poo pooed flashy those kind of pride style entrances, they work. They work. And now he's starting to allow them. So glad he loosened up to it. Yeah, Adesanya, he had a quite an entrance over there in Melbourne when he beat Whitaker. He's doing the dancing and the backflips. Pete Pereira had a pretty flashy entrance against Diego, if you don't recall. Yeah. And Mayhem Miller. Yeah, so you, yeah, yeah, Mayhem had great. Yeah, King Mo, Mayhem, I'm thinking of some of my favorite. Rampage back in Pride. Sakuraba, remember? They, they do it backwards, and they, they announce it. Sakuraba! Kazushi! That's like my best pride imitation. It works. Can I get a final message for the Stefan Bonner fans out there worldwide? A final message? Like some golden nugget of truth or wisdom? Fuck, I don't know. Um, yeah, tune in. Watch Diego perform. He's, he's going to do a fight of the night performance. He's... Uh, uh, He's um he's nuts. He's Diego. He loves to fight, all right? And he's loosened up. He adjusted, he made some adjustments. He's been looking good lately. You gotta admit that. He's gonna look good come Saturday. He steals the show. He steal your mic, yeah. Exactly. Never lose the hand off the mic, right? Yeah, you're a legend. Yeah. You earned that. Thank he, you. He's the pro, I'm the schmo here in Abu Dhabi. 
we're yeah, out. But, yeah. Remember Jimmy Smith and Bellator where I'm like this and he's holding on and I'm like, come on, I'll give it back, I promised. <laughs>